us who your question is directed to. Hey, I'm Zach with Mintable.app and the NFT ecosystem project. This is for Vitalik. Earlier I mentioned NFTs, and I agree with what you were saying about how right now we have game items and these collectibles, and they're kind of an early wave, but don't have much social impact. So what, what would you see as the next wave of you know, tokenized assets on NFTs that, that provide some sort of social impact or some adoption? Uh, sure. Um, so one category of thing that I'm interested in is the idea of like charities and nonprofit organizations like basically selling like, badges like NFTs as a way of raising money. And like the idea would be that you would like let's say don't like donate some amounts to some like to some nonprofit, get some uh, get this badge in return, and then thing even just chat applications or Ethereum applications in general would kind of recognize these badges and give you a special status in some way. And that's something uh, that it, I know there are projects that are kind of trying to do things in that direction and it's something that I find, that, that I find really interesting. Um, I mean, all, trying to go beyond that, I mean, like zooming out a bit, there's also all of these use cases around like using blockchains to make um, Nonprofits, charities, the you know the social third sector, whatever in general, more transparent, and that's something that's interesting in theory, but it is going to take some time in practice because like a lot, like basically for the first year, like for the, for the first while until until you get everyone into the network, like well, when these organizations spend money, ninety five percent of it is just going to go into a black hole that says I'm I sold it on below the ice. And so, like, because that's just the optimal way for them to spend their money, because most of their expenses are in fiat. So, and, and when you have that, well, you, you're not really gaining any meaningful like tracking or verification benefits. So, coming up with like meaningful things to do that don't require you to just solve the network effects problem all at once is, I think, something that's very valuable too. Can I, can I follow up quickly? With, with digitalizing files, like tokenizing your system for one digital file, does that have any social? What do you mean by tokenizing files? Um, maybe allowing someone to put a PDF as a 721 and sell that PDF as a 721. The problem is that doesn't like that doesn't solve the problem. Like first of all, that's not like selling access to the 721, right? Because it is um, like ultimately, if you if someone downloads a file, they can resell the file. And if you've put a hash of the file on the blockchain, then guess what? The per you're actually made it easier to sell for people to sell copies of the, uh, the copies of the file to each other without your authorization because you have a thing that anyone can check it against to verify that the file is the original. So I think that like actually one if we're talking about like IP like things, then tokens might be good for like as like access tokens to some application, like even access like even just things like games that require where you can like pay some amount and then like you have the like you just have the ability to play it like further forever and things like that then that's something that we have like the blockchains can be fairly good at um i mean you can also and there's also these ideas around like token uh, tokenizing artwork and like people who will like, kind of want to buy it for like the feeling of ownership or whatever that's I know lots of people have tried that, and none of that seems to have like really taken off yet. Just to jump in on that really quick, the, uh, on, in terms of the social impact, um, you know, kind of being involved with a number of uh, charitable organizations, including uh, Social Alpha, um, I think you should think about tokenization in terms of finding ways to back the token with the value. And sometimes that value is going to be offline. So one of the things we've been thinking about uh, with some of the other charities that uh, in this uh, other space is uh, experiences. How do you create a signaling token or like a badge that can be kind of granted, um, you know, for a donation? And that badge represents an experience. Now that's going to be offline, right? You're going to have to somehow connect the two. But I think that's how you start to get around and really make value for the for the owner of the badge, and then um, also for the charity. So, um, sorry, can I just add one more example to that? Um, just where you're using um, an ESC 721 to represent a digital, uh, sorry, a physical asset. So in the supply chain, that's a common example people have spoken about for a while. And um, yeah, at Agri Digital, we're doing just that. Like we're trying to get wheat onto the blockchain, um, pigs onto the blockchain. Something that will actually, in that specific domain, like with the UN project with Papua New Guinea, it's to help the farmers who have the asset but maybe are effectively unbanked by tracking their physical asset on the blockchain with an with an NFT. Um, it, it gives them power. And in the wheat industry, farmers in Australia have a problem with getting paid. 
um, by having their digital asset again, uh, sorry, their physical asset on the blockchain, we can help um, get payment to them sooner rather than waiting the 60 to 90 days they wait. So, yeah, that's just a real example for you. Just actually published a paper on using uh, food traceability in 721 to the actual believe itself. Oh, there you go. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Um,